Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going more into uh, C++. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, third video of C++. Um, but actually the first because this is going to be the um the easiest one because I'm going right into it right now. Um, and so I'm going to create a new uh, let's do a source file so I can exactly show you what you have to do so first I'm going to type in some code and it's actually pretty easy so it's include with oh, include and then between those greater and less than icons I'm going to type it IO stream <clears throat> okay um, this will mean we'll include the IO stream library um, IO stream for, uh, stands for input output <clears throat> so input output stream and it's actually the uh, basic um, um, library most of the time every uh, or actually most of the time uh, all programs have this library included <clears throat> at least in um, and also in the uh, if you open up a new project it will also include the IO stream so next I'm going to type in int main main and then those brackets then the curly bracket and close the curly bracket um, <clears throat> so int main <clears throat> sorry um, int main means uh, or it stands for um, here in this um, you uh, or I mean in this uh, int main where cl it closes right after the <coughs> after the curly bracket it's going to be the code that is going to be launched when the application has been launched so every code between the this bracket and this bracket it's going to be executed at startup <clears throat> you can also add more um, functions and stuff uh, and I have a video on that uh, right, right now it's live so if you're interested in that you can view that too so <clears throat> Okay, so we want this um, application to say hello. Um, so the common, the most easiest uh, thing <coughs> is uh, C out. It will mean it will print a text in the console, like echo does for um, in batch in the batch code. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. The uh, C out um, has um, it's in the scope STD. It's kind. Of, it sounds kind of hard, but it isn't that hard. Um, so when we type in uh, C out, um, you will have to uh, add this these uh, greater or less than uh, signs, and then uh, I'm going to type in hello world like that. You, uh, by the way, you have to close every command with a semicolon, so don't forget them. They will cause errors. So now the decode system, and then between those quotation, type in pause. This will mean it will pause it, so we can actually see what it's writing. Else, we could not see because it's going to flash, and because um, it's the end of the code, it will uh, close. Um, so another command is return. And then zero. Um. By the way, I've forgotten the semicolon after the system command. Okay, return zero means um, Microsoft knows that the program has been closed right, and it's not being terminated or anything else. Um. I don't know if this is that if it's that important. Um. But I think you you'll just have to put it in the end of the code. Um, so um, this won't work I say won't because C out is not in the current scope main it is in the scope STD C S T D and then we have colon colon that stands for uh, like a dot in Visual Basic so in the scope STD it will have the command C out this will work but if you always if you have like uh, 10 lines of code. I don't want to put every time std colon colon in front of it. So there is a easy way for this. I'm going I'm going to show you right now. So before the int main and 
um, before the end main and after uh, in the include command I'm going to type in using namespace std see now we can remove this and now it should work so it will um, ask for say uh, to save it if you are in dev C++ um, I have a video on that how to download it you need your library um, if you don't have it already so you have to download it with the library so you just see my um, see my uh, tutorial so I'm going to call the C++ tutorial um, here see um, it shows you hello world and then in dodge it says press any key to continue but it looks pretty uh, ugly see uh, press the press or uh, what is standing here is just right behind world uh, so we we can change that it's going there are two opportunities it's slash and I don't know if it's this slash so we can check out uh, no it's uh, oh well it's, uh, it's going to be the um, backslash and an n I hope this work okay see it's it's actually a kind of enter see now it will show you these on two lines what you can also do is add another uh, open uh, greater or less than icons two of those and then type in and l uh, it's just stand for and line so it will actually do the same see it's actually not much difference but any code is uh, pretty much different well I prefer to use and line the and line code but you can also use the backslash and uh, it doesn't matter that much um so um by the way uh, yeah well not by the way but okay so uh, this video uh, was made by GNBJ BNK um, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to me. Uh, um, well, now comes the by the way. Um, I'm thinking of buying a site uh, or a host name, and I'm I'm kind of uh, yeah. I don't know which I shall choose, like uh, Gnat or something, Gnat.com, because the my name as a uh, as a website like gnbjbnk.com is pretty hard to remember so I'm going to uh, maybe if you have any kind of uh, ideas just comment this video uh, by the way maybe this is uh, you are watching this video when it's already when I already have a site so I'm trying to do this in a week or something I don't really know so I'm just yeah well Let's uh, see. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you later.